Okay, am I in focus? Yes? No? What is up guys, JPR Tech here and I'm coming to you from my work area, my desktop area that I do all my work, whether it's in Zoom or just editing my videos and photos. It's all done here. Today, there's something different, right? I don't have that big old black refrigerator that I used to have before that R4 fractal design. Yep, I'm done with the hacking touch. It's gone. I'm stripping it for parts. I've been selling it and I have officially upgraded to the M1 Mac mini. What? Yeah, so I did it. I did upgrade. I did purchase the latest uh, Mac mini by Apple, rocking the brand new M1 Apple Silicon CPU with its mighty eight cores. Dude, this thing flies. It's amazing. But I do have the lowest spec. I do have the base cheapest Mac you could buy in apple.com. That is a eight gig, 256 gig SSD. Now, even though this machine is great, it flies, it is quiet, it is cool. I mean, it literally disappeared from my desk. I have it hanging on a tray under my desk along with some external storage. So I have so much real estate on my desk. It's just so comfortable. I'm loving it, but I'm not going to bore you with specs, no benchmarks, no nothing. You already know. Yeah. New Apple Silicon is great and all. I'm here to talk to you about the issues I've had. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at three issues that I've had. Issue number one, Bluetooth. If you were to Google, M1 Mac mini issues, probably the number one issue you're going to find is Bluetooth. And yes, I've had, and I'm still having issues with the Bluetooth, even though as of January, 2021, I am at the latest big Sur 11.1 update, still having issues with Bluetooth. All my peripherals, ex with the exception of the RK71 keyboard, that's so strange that a cheap Chinese keyboard will work perfectly fine with the Mac mini, whereas Logical trackpad, the Logical uh, M557 mouse, and even Apple's own Magic Mouse is having trouble uh, working smoothly with the new Mac mini. It's just funny that the cheapest peripheral works the best. I did find after much testing, I tried everything from resetting the Bluetooth devices and all the, the Bluetooth settings, all the stuff, I tried it. Only thing I found helpful that actually helped fix and alleviate the problem with Bluetooth, turning off the Wi-Fi. Turn off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is fine and dandy. But when you turn off the Wi-Fi, you do break other things such as AirDrop and wirelessly connecting to a sidecar compatible device, such as the iPad Pro you see behind me. Now, I have it connected via the USB, and whenever I need to airdrop something, I do turn on the Wi Fi, and the connection is stable enough that I'm able to drag the mouse around and turn off the Wi Fi later. Turning off the Wi Fi does fix the issue. I do connect to the internet via the Ethernet. So anyway, that's not a big deal for me, but it might be for you, so keep that in mind. Issue number two, ports. Some users have reported their external port issues, whether it's the legacy USB 3 ports, lightning ports, as well as the HDMI. Now, personally, I had problems with the HDMI, connecting to my old Acer H233H 23 inch monitor. It's working now, but I did have issues connecting to a new HDMI cable that I purchased from the local store in order to extend the Mac mini and put it under the desk. But I did have problems with my monitor at first, but it's working perfectly fine. So take that with a grain of salt. You might have your issues with your external ports. And now the issue number three is the lack of support or compatibility with software or utilities. Now in my case, fortunately, the, the important softwares and utilities that I use in my job and also in my hobby, such as Zoom, DaVinci Resolve, Capture One, Skype, Line, all these are working great in the M1 
Mac mini, but I've had issues with other utilities that I really need to get working quick. One utility that has problem is the gig tools. If you ever heard it, it's an awesome utility that allows you to customize your desktop with a clock or different widgets like the calendar and the time and the weather. You could have different widgets in your desktop. It doesn't use a lot of resources from your Mac. It's an awesome utility, but I did find one issue and that is that it doesn't auto restart. If I ever restarted the Mac mini, I found that the Geek Tools utility doesn't turn on. So I will have to turn it on manually, enable the widgets and there it should be no problem. Another utility that I'm having trouble and it's a very important utility that we need to get working soon is the Logic Options or the Logical Logitech, depending where you're in the world, the Logi Options Manager utility. And that is the utility that allows you to apply or manage all the settings for your different logical peripherals such as my 651 trackpad and my M557 mouse. Now the utility does install, it opens up, but no matter what settings I check or uncheck, it doesn't affect anything. The trackpad just works as a dumb trackpad. It only works as a pointer. You can move around the pointer, but it's not smooth. Scrolling with two fingers is really buggy. It's not smooth at all. And there are no gesture support. So even though you check all the different gestures that you could apply or use on this trackpad, they are not going to work with the M1 Mac Mini. If you have logical peripherals or Logitech mouse, really think about it before you upgrade to your a new M1 Mac. And those are some of the issues that I have with some utilities that I have. I really recommend you guys to Google, do your homework, go to the manufacturer's website and double check that the M1 chip is supported or if support is coming in the near future. So there you have it guys, honeymoon is over. I had a few issues with my Mac mini, but overall I am really happy with the purchase. I'm sure with more updates from Apple and different manufacturers, will be able to smooth out some of the quirks that comes from, you know, getting a new silicon M1 chip, hopefully much sooner than later. So if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, share the video. And if you do have comments, any questions, issues that you have, uh, I would love to hear about it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.